Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for December 5th, 2014. It is a Friday, and as always, I am battling my cough, so I apologize ahead of time. What do we have setting up for today? Well, we have the threat for snow, sleet, and freezing rain over northeastern Pennsylvania. Don't worry, it won't last long. Everywhere else, looks like it's going to be a significant rain event on the way for this evening, and then again for tomorrow. Currently, we have temperatures in the mid to upper 20s over the interior, lower to mid 30s over the western suburbs of Philadelphia and New York City, and then mid 30s right along the coast. Winds are starting to veer towards the east at around 5 to 15 miles per hour. So what we should see throughout the day are these temperatures warming up into the 40s along the coast and over the interior up into the lower 30s and by this evening into the mid 30s as that warm air advances. Now the latest surface map has high pressure over southeastern Quebec and New England. This high pressure system will continue to shift out towards the Canadian Maritimes, which means our winds shift to the east, and that's why your frozen precipitation changes over to rain, because there's nothing to keep the cold air in place. Meanwhile, this low pressure system will intensify, organize, and lift up towards the New Jersey coast by tomorrow morning. That low pressure system will become stronger, producing moderate to heavy rainfall tomorrow afternoon on through early Sunday morning, making Saturday night a very wet night throughout the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. On the water vapor side, should I say on the radar, jumping ahead here, you can see that heavy precipitation already starting to organize over portions of the Mississippi River Valley and showers already breaking out from the Tennessee River Valley and Ohio River Valley through central Pennsylvania. And those showers will push into our neck of the woods this afternoon and become more widespread by this evening. On the water vapor satellite picture, you can see how this all is setting up. Here's our polar disturbance and here's our subtropical disturbance. This time the two shall not meet, at least not on time. So as a result, we end up with pretty much a warm type system, dominated by this subtropical jet stream. So here's our low pressure system, and this disturbance here is a key factor for the next storm that's coming up on Tuesday because this storm kind of lays down the, tra the tracks, sets up the environment to allow this disturbance and this one way up here in Canada to interact and develop an even stronger coastal storm by the time we get to Tuesday and Wednesday. And that one could also mean snow for some locations. How much, where, too early to say. We have to wait and see how the first storm evolves how that influences the 500 millibar pattern, and then we can go from there. But right now, I would hedge my bets, the coast rain, interior, some sort of mix going over to snow. So let's take a look at the latest infrared satellite picture. You can see clouds are increasing throughout the day, and here comes our low pressure system. The high pressure gives way, low pressure approaches, overcast skies by tonight with periods of rain. On the latest European model guidance, from the Penn State Wall website, you can see our high pressure system gives it away, our low pressure system approaching. Temperatures are range from the lower to mid 40s along the coast, mid to upper 30s over the interior. And those high temperatures will pretty much be this evening. So we'll gradually warm up throughout the day. Temperatures stabilize along the coast this evening, continue to rise over the interior. Our low temperature for tomorrow morning will happen around 1 a.m. So you're looking at a low temperature around 40 degrees in New York City and along the coast, mid to upper 30s over the interior. So let's say northeastern Pennsylvania, your low temperature for tomorrow is at basically 12.30 a.m. in the morning at 33 degrees, and then you rise from there with rainfall throughout the day. Tomorrow's high temperatures will range from the mid 40s over the interior in upper 40s to lower 50s along the coast. High pressure will be in control for Sunday and for much of Monday with scattered cloud cover, tranquil yet cool weather conditions. We're looking at temperatures ranging from the upper 20s to lower 30s over the interior and mid 30s along the coast 
on Sunday morning. High temperatures on Sunday will range from the lower to mid 40s. On Monday, low temperatures in the lower to mid 20s over the interior, mid to upper 20s along the coast, high temperatures in the lower to mid 40s, pretty much where we should be for this time of year. We're not looking at anything drastic here. Certainly no major warm-ups in any way, shape, or form. Then our two disturbances interact, and look what we have setting up for ourselves by the time we get to Tuesday. One very strong coastal storm starting to impact the region. You can see developing out here. Here comes our polar disturbance. High pressure is exiting with the over the Canadian Maritimes, but look at this high pressure coming in from central Canada. So we have cold air coming in, making for a very interesting storm by the time we get into Tuesday through Wednesday morning. I really don't want to go into details on who gets snow and rain because we're too far out and there's a lot we have to watch with this storm. But needless to say, this is going to be a very tricky storm and one that is likely to bring heavy precipitation, wind gusts over 40 miles per hour, coastal flooding, just a very nasty period of weather for Tuesday on through Wednesday morning. Looking for temperatures on Tuesday, right now, going with upper 20s to low 30s over the interior, mid 30s along the coast, high temperatures and staying below the GFS Moss, going with lower to mid 40s. That's likely gonna change depending on how this storm develops. On Wednesday, as this storm is lifting north, this is where it gets pretty interesting because our storm kind of stalls in the Gulf of Maine. So we have cold air in place and we're gonna have snow showers, not rain showers, but snow showers invading the region from the interior to the coast with temperatures ranging from the mid to upper 20s over the interior, upper 20s to lower 30s along the coast, high temperatures in the mid to upper 30s throughout the entire Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. And then on Thursday, we start to slowly clear out with a few scattered snow, flowers, uh, snow showers lingering and a few flurries and uh, temperatures ranging in the mid 20s for lows and mid to upper 30s for highs. So much for no winter in December, huh? That is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. And as always, the last day for our winter special, I just want to share this with you. This ends tonight. Get four months for the price of three and get protected for the rest of the winter with the best weather analysis out there with the premium weather, premium NY and JPA weather membership. As always, have a safe day and thank you for following NY and JPA weather.